Your adventure with the Star Wars began with The Force Awakens mm. and we land perhaps with The Rise of Skywalker. So are you ready for this moment? Because I'm not ready for this moment. I'm not either. <laughs> Let's cry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think, I think uh, whether Star Wars will continue after this it remains to be seen. Well, I'm pretty sure it will. But, uh, but yeah, the Skywalker saga as such will probably have its, you know, ending mm -hmm. in, in this and uh, um, yeah um, it makes me a little bit sad because it's you know it's, yeah. been, it's been eight films before this and now we get to um, the, we get to see the last one and uh, I think it's going to be uh, the message and the the, uh, the punch of this film will be so epic that people will be glad it it uh, we're, we're, we're back so uh, yeah, and I was glad to come back because mm -hmm. of the group of friends that, that we are, who's left. We're, we're back at it together, uh, going off on an adventure uh, together. So that's, that, that was a real thrill for me. Do you remember the day when they told you that you become Chewbacca? Yeah, <laughs> very, very, very much so. I was in a parking lot, received a phone call, said yay, <laughs> went home and drank mm -hmm. some champagne. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you become Chewbacca? You... I watched a lot of the films, the, the, the f most, mostly Empire Strikes Back, and then mm -hmm. tried, to, tried to learn the, the mindset of Chewbacca and the way he moves. And then also I did um, sessions with Peter Mayhew, who taught mm -hmm. me some of his uh, techniques. Uh, you work a lot at first time uh, with Peter. So you, um, he, um, what advice did he give you for, for this character? Well, the angles are important. He told me to have a proud chest, but, but to, to, <laughs> to do this, which I had seen in the, in the Empire Strikes Back before, but it was really good to learn the ins and outs of his physicality and what uh, influenced his performance. Mm -hmm. And what is the, the hardest part to play Chewbacca? That's just like the instincts, uh, what to do as an actor uh, in a set, in a scene with, with like four characters. How to, what, what you, you need to just sort of decide what to, how Chewie views the other characters and mm -hmm. how he behaves. How wary is he? Is he, is he on the defense or is he relaxed and concentrating on his own thing and those are, those are the kind of things that I mostly think about. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars is a point of reference for many generations. Mm. Three trilogies, three different historical periods. I believe that The Last Jedi was a point of change in the Star Wars saga. Um, a passage to from a generation to another generation, from a generation of fun to another generation of fun. But uh, the historical fun didn't like this. Why? Well, you can't always please everybody. But mm. I think uh, I think it's good that there's. I this love the Last Jedi. Yeah. I think is a, a great uh, a great movie. I love but, the Last uh, Jedi too. Yeah, yeah. A I lot think... of very old fun. Yeah. <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. I think uh, Last Jedi was great in one respect that it. Mm -hmm. Uh, never was um, it. Uh, it always surprised us, and that was that was a really. Uh, had my hats off to Ryan Johnson. It was really, really surprising that movie and all the other things. And I like to be surprised when I go to the movies, and uh, and uh, uh, what else? Yeah, I think it's a uh, it's a good thing that there's dialogue in, in, in the fandom and. Uh, I, I just think that Star Wars fans are the best fans in the world, uh, for sure. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And enjoy Luca. Oh, I will. 42. <laughs>